Hey guys, well this isn't something you get to do every day. We're here in the heart of the Middle East at Bahrain Racing Circuit. This is a 3.3 mile 15 turn F1 racing circuit here in the middle of the desert. And wouldn't you know, it's never supposed to rain in the desert until we got here today. But that's okay, Ducati generously took off the OE fitted Diablo Super Corsa V3 SP tires and fitted Pirelli's competition spec and extra gooey Diablo rain tires. So we've had some chance to, to ride the Panigale V4S here around a very wet uh, Bahrain racing circuit. And what a neat bike from Ducati. There's not a lot of times where you get to actually ride these bikes in really treacherous, rainy conditions. But the improvements Ducati's done in terms of just the user interface and making the motorcycle easier to ride, it's quite evident even here in the wet. Uh, the first thing I like about this motorcycle is just the wider front fairing. It makes the bike a lot easier to tuck in behind of when you're going down the straightaways at speed. It, it, it blasts the water over you. It just gives you a more comfortable cocoon when you're doing business at the track. The electronic settings, traction control, Ducati introduced new software settings based on their experience in World Superbike competition with their Ducati course racing arm. And even riding in the wet, we've been riding in DTC level seven of eight. Eight's the highest, one's the least. But even in that more restrictive setting, the calibration of the traction control is very nice. Uh, you can feel it actuating, but it does so in such a smooth manner. It doesn't make the engine feel like it's stalling out, yet you have very good control. Whether it's the extra gooey Diablo rain tires or the traction control itself, you have a lot of control this motorcycle. You can give it full throttle, you can stand up on the gas on the thing and the bike doesn't get away from you. It, the, the rear tire doesn't seem to be losing grip, it doesn't get wishy-washy. Just a very stable motorcycle. We, Ducati motorcycles are always known, especially their sport bikes, for being a little exhilarating, being a little crazy, being a little wild. But when you put uh, a higher level of traction control, you ride it with a more mild power delivery, this bike is very, very easy to ride. And, and it's especially apparent here in, in treacherous, rainy conditions. Other nice features about this Panigale that I really like is just the way I fit on the motorcycle. I'm six foot tall and it has a very good ergonomics package. You can get behind that bubble. The foot pegs are sharp now so you can put inputs into the, into the controls. You don't have to worry about your feet sliding off like you had to on previous Panigales. Everything's right where you need it to be. And it's a very effective weapon for riding fast at the racetrack. Overall, I really like what Ducati has done with the 2020 Panigale V4S. It looks meaner, it has smoother power, trash control is more refined. The chassis, even though we really haven't been able to feel those changes, it, it does feel like an easy motorcycle to ride. And that's what Ducati was really trying to get after with this 2020 Panigale V4S. Just a more refined package that will be appreciated by pro riders and guys who just want to have fun during a track day or carving corners in the canyons with their friends. All right guys, that's a wrap from the 2020 Panigale V4S press ride here at the Bahrain Racing Circuit. If you want to know more about this bike, please check the link in the description of this video. Leave us a comment, let us know if you like this video. Sorry for my disheveled head, I just got out of the helmet. My hair gets crazy when I wear helmets and I'm riding bikes at 190 miles per hour. But thanks for watching guys, we'll see you next time.